What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I was looking for a vacuum that would be a dust buster and a floor vac, so I'm gonna try this. I just bought this. It's by Tamong, and it seemed to get pretty good reviews online, so I thought, why not give it a try? It had to be cordless, and it's because my Black & Decker dust buster bit the dust. So, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So, first of all, we get a little handheld vacuum cleaner. I think on the side it says advertises for cars. We have some plastic extensions here. They kind of look like just uh, small PVC tubes and they're tapered on one end so they can go together like that. Uh, we also have oh, a floor paddle. So little fabric brush right there. Rollers on the front and back and the hole right there. So uh, these things should all be able to go together like this. It actually has a pretty nice looking little ball joint there, so it rotates very nice and smoothly. So you can uh, kind of push, pull like that. It's cool. Um, little box right here. And this is the power cable. Two prong plug and a single prong to charge the device. Another box right here. And ah, another adapter for vacuuming surfaces this has looks like a spinning bristly brush in there this one's fairly narrow so i would think you could use this on stairs car seats and the like and you can see that we also have a small brush attachment little nooks and crannies we have the hose attachment it's flexible so you don't need to get the whole device into a, a crevice you can just maneuver it in then we have kind of your narrow attachment, We're getting into small spots. Here is the adapter, instruction manual, and then we also have a, another power cord. It looks like this is the same prong on the one that goes into a standard outlet. But on this end, we have a USB plug. So I guess you can charge it off a charging brick or something like that. All right, now for the piece you've all been waiting for is the vacuum cleaner itself. Ooh, it looks pretty trick, man. I mean, it's got a nice modern look to it. Nice design, it's not that heavy. It's white plastic here, Tamong on the switch. As you can see, it's very angular. It kind of looks like a space blaster or something. Nice big cylinder right here. It looks like we have a power switch right here. And the motor is probably in here. And then what we have here is actually the tube where things will get sucked in. It looks like right there. And that's where you have kind of that oblong oval shape. So that will be a good fit for this. So if we wanted to just use this as a dust buster, looks like that would snap right in there. And now I could use this as a dust buster, or I could take the oval adapter right there, put this in, and now I can attach pretty much any of these other pieces. So I can actually attach these two together like this. And this is where we get basically a floor vacuum out of this little tiny device as well as put on these extensions this way and then put on like the smaller hose and now I can vacuum in my car with a vacuum just like this so it's actually really really versatile all right um, the plug for recharging is right on the back so that would go right in there just like that and then the canister here I believe doesn't take any paper disposable filters. I think you just reuse it. So what you can see is it's all plastic and it's translucent. You got a little clip there. That looks like that opens up the top. Just dump out everything. And so you can just dump things out like that. But if you really wanted to do your thorough cleaning, you can see there's another little silver switch right there. So if I hit this switch or pull that up, now this whole thing comes off right here. And I can lift this off. And now I can pull out the filter and you can see it's a metal mesh filter kind of looks like a pour over coffee filter and you can just rinse this out so that's reusable and then the uh, plastic piece here that creates this like cyclone swirl <laughs> swirling effect you can just rinse that off so you just put that back in here filter back in behind it snap it in close that and we should be ready to go now I will tell you if I put this on here I wonder if there's any charge at all. Booyah! And look at that. We have a light. So it's taking power and providing a light down here. So that's going to be nice when you are vacuuming just to see what's going on. So the next thing we have to do 
is charge us up and try it out on some really dirty stuff. So let's find out if this thing lives up to its billing. And I am at my wood burning stove here and over the winter, I've accumulated some ash here and let's see if we can get it up. I do love that light, that's pretty cool. Now I'm using the wrong attachment, I'm not getting it in there. It doesn't sit flush because of that tray, but I tell you what, that sucked it up, no problem. So let's try it on other things. All right, just broke down some boxes and was breaking up some wood. I've got these little wood chips around here and I definitely got to get this picked up, so. Yeah, baby. Little bits of styrofoam. Man making short work of this stuff. I love it. Normally I'd be on my hands and knees picking this stuff up. Wow, even picked up that big piece. But what's really cool is you can see it spinning in there. Definitely has like a cyclonic spinning motion, which I think helps pick it up, but that is pretty awesome. And it's going to be really nice and easy just to pop it open and dump this stuff back out and keep on vacuuming. Dude, I love this. I think it's great and it's a really good value. Hey, if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.